Hey, what's up? Day seven here. Hey, you made it a week. You got two more weeks to go to complete the 21 day challenge. Let's push, let's do the right thing. Here's something for you to get your best rest. You know, as a part of the health compass, sleep is a major part. A quarter of your life is gonna be spent sleeping. One of the things that I have found to really get myself to sleep and be as restful as I possibly can is really just setting boundaries. Everybody knows that they need to go to bed at a certain time, but what time is your clock wanting to go to bed? When it gets dark out, a couple hours after dark, what is it for you? For every hour of sleep before midnight is worth two hours afterwards. Hey, my dad said nothing good happens after midnight. Go to sleep. Early bird gets the worm. If you're gonna hoot with the owls, then you need to soar with the eagles. So when you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning, are you fully rested? One of my favorite morning routines is to just wake up and get about 20% of my water needs for the day right away. About 16 to 20 ounces right off the bat and front load some of those water needs. Another best practice is to get this cell phone away from you. Never sleep with your cell phone, get it out of the bedroom, get it away from you. If you use it as your alarm clock, put it in one room over. These cell phones are not good for us. Multiple, multiple studies show that cell phones close to your head while you're sleeping is it's a really bad thing, don't do it. It's a really bad thing, don't do it. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know it's not good for the cuckoo. Just get that cell phone away from you, it's not good for you.